was here. I hope you aren't missing that extra hour of sleep too much. Uh, I, could, I, I wouldn't mind having it back. Would you? You would mind? You don't, yeah, you, you don't need a lot of sleep? No? Or at least you don't think you do, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, hey, I wanted to talk to you today about the fact that this uh, is Sunday is the first Sunday of a season that we call Lent. It's only it, it's a season in the life of the church. We're not talking about fall or winter or spring or summer, but church has different seasons like Christmas, right, and Easter. Well, right before Easter, we have a, se a season called Lent, and during those times. During the time of Lent, it's a special time to get ready for Jesus to be resurrected on Easter. And so we think about all of the things that Jesus had to go through on his way to uh, being dead, resurrected. Because you know what? If you're going to be resurrected, something has to happen first, right? Yes. Do, you, do, we, do you or I need to be resurrected right now? Yeah. Do uh, we need to be brought back to life? Well... In some ways, maybe, but, but we're still alive, right? We're breathing, we, we're, we're, we wake up in the morning, and we eat, and all of that. So Jesus, before he has his resurrection, he has to go through something really terrible. He has to die on the cross. And so this is our time to kind of walk with Jesus towards that. And the first thing that we always think about on, on the first Sunday of Lent is it's one of the things that Jesus went through that was a tough time for him. He went out into the wilderness and he experienced something called temptation. You guys know what it means to say the word temptation? What, is, what does it mean to be tempted? It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. Yep. <laughs> right. Yeah, the temptation is when you are feeling like you are kind of hearing a voice that says, do something that you know is wrong, right? Yeah. Like there was a little boy who went into the store and he saw some candy. And he liked, he liked, yeah, he wanted to have some candy, but he didn't have any money. And he heard a little voice saying to him, you know what? There's one way to get candy when you don't have money. And what, what do you think that would be? Steal. To steal it, right? And he was there hanging around at the counter where they had all the, uh, the candy and, and, and the, the woman who was there at the, at the, there who worked for the store, she said, are you trying to steal some candy? And the boy said, no, I'm trying not to, man. Peer pressure can be one way that people are tempted. Yep. Uh, if we get in trouble, we might be tempted to blame someone else for what we did, right? Those are all kinds of ways that we can be tempted. Uh, and one of the, what the kind of neat thing is, is that when we are being tempted, one of the things that we can remember is that Jesus was tempted too. Yes. He was also tempted. Yeah. We're gonna yeah. And he was tempted to do a bunch of different things that he wasn't supposed to do. He he didn't give in to temptation. He did everything that he was he, he never did anything he wasn't supposed to do. But he understands uh, what what we go through when we are tempted. Do you know how he uh, you know how he uh, didn't fall into temptation. You know what he did? Whenever the devil tempted him to do something he wasn't supposed to do, he went to the Bible. And he found somewhere in the Bible that would help him to say, no, I'm not going to do that because the Bible tells me that I should do this. Right? So the Bible tells us we shouldn't lie. Well, what if we are tempted to lie to get out of some trouble that we're in or to make it better for ourselves in some way or another, what should we remember? The Bible says, you shall not lie. If we're mad at someone 
and we want to get back at them for something that they've done. What does the Bible say? We should love each other and let God be the one to uh, make things easy. Yeah, don't, you, you know, right? Probably yes, in some cases it's good not to have it. In some cases you do need to tell a grown up what somebody is doing. Uh, but, so, you know what? In your life, you're going to go through some temptation. And, you know, I'm really old, but I still get tempted sometimes, right? It's going to keep happening that you will have the voice of somebody else saying, or, or you know, or even, you know, whatever, the, the devil say, you know, go do this, or, or you don't have to do that, you can do this. You're going to get tempted for, for as, as just part of your life. But we need to remember, Jesus understands what it's like to be tempted. And he shows us a way to not fall into temptation or not give in to it. Okay, guys? So, let's, uh, let's pray. Lord, we all know what it's like to be tempted. And sometimes we have given in to temptation and done what we know is wrong. We thank you that you forgive us, but we also thank you that you give us the ability to say no when we are being tempted to do something that is wrong. Help us to say no to those things that are not good for us or that are, that are bad for other people. And help us to say yes to following Jesus day by day for all of the days of our life. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, folks, we will see you all soon, okay?